Hi, this is Philip Bloom with a short tutorial on how to turn a normal time lapse, uh, as you can see here, into a tilt shift time lapse. So, first off, uh, you need to create the time lapse itself. Uh, I shot last night on a 14mm uh, Canon lens, um, shooting the fireworks, and I was around sort of f8 and my interval was basically taking a photo as often as possible and the exposure was, was down to about three seconds and that created a number of photos for me and so we're going to build that, that time lapse sequence by going into QuickTime Player 7 going to File, Open Image Sequence we'll go to the folder where it is Time Lapse Offloads Fireworks is the folder I'm going to take the uh, first photo, which is 1, click on Open. I'm going to set the frame rate to 15 frames a second, which gives, is going to give it a really nice sort of um, surreal movement to it, and also means it won't be too fast. If it's too fast, the fireworks, you just won't see them enough. So I'm slowing it down to 15 frames a second, clicking on OK, and it will create a time-lapse uh, photo JPEG video of this, which will be quite big. Let's let it go. There she is. I'm going to fit the screen. Um, sometimes you get a black screen when you're doing these uh, for the JPEG conversions. Uh, the, no idea why it does it, it just does it sometimes, but it is there. So simply going to go to File, Export. We're going to turn this into an HD video so we can manipulate it in Final Cut Pro. Go into my folder, go into uh, Time Lapse Renders, select it as a QuickTime movie. Options. I've got it set to Apple ProRes 422 and I set the size to Full HD and I'm preserving the aspect ratio using crop which means I will lose the top and the bottom of the image that we can't actually see because of the black screen. Click on OK. Fireworks test. Save and it will export. Now I've already done one of these to save us time so we'll just quit out of that. And if we play it, you'll see it's created this nice, simple time lapse. You can see these fireworks going off. You get this nice, unnatural movement, not too smooth, but perfect for this sort of look. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply dump it onto the timeline. You'll notice that uh, Final Cut is asking it to render because basically, Final Cut does not have a 15 frame per second um, setting for a sequence so it can't change the frame rate to that. What it's simply going to do is going to add some uh, frames to it to make the 15 frames per second play. It's not a problem, it'll still work just fine. What we're also going to do is we want to create a slight bit of digital movement on that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up in the Motion tab, go to the start of the shot, click on Scale, go to the end of the shot, click on Scale again, so to go to the last frame, there it is. So let's go to the first shot and we're going to get it to pull out so we're just going to change the scale to 120. So basically what's going to happen is it will make the shot bigger as you'll see. So slightly zoomed in but as we play it we're slightly pulling out as it's changing the scale. As you see if I keep stopping it you'll see the scale dropping up here which is creating a slight digital pullout for us. We can do the other way around and do a digital pull-in, but I think it looks nice as a digital pull-out for these fireworks. The next thing we can do is add the, the actual tilt shift itself. So, using Magic Bullet Looks from Red Giant Software, I've already got it in my favorites folder. I'm just going to pick it up, drop it down, go to Filters, Edit, and I'm going to add a Swing Tilt, which is effectively Tilt Shift. It's showing it as part of the lens, part of the um, magic bullet looks because it is simply a lens. Uh, and that's too much for us. For a start, we're just going to bring down the blur to around 3.14 and we're going to rotate tilt shift so it's more to an angle. I want, I want the fireworks themselves to be in focus, so I'm just going to move that until we get those fireworks in focus. So we have our Focal plane is now along here, so everything along this line is in focus, no matter how far it goes back, and everything out, out either side is out of focus. Click on OK, and we have a tilt shift time lapse.
So here's one I did earlier, and what I've also done is I've added some sound effects onto this to uh, give it an extra dimension, because sound is going to work really well with this. I've added two separate um, sound effects from Soundtrack Pro for fireworks, which overlay with each other to create a much fuller sound, and also some sound of the ocean, just to get that nice lapping. So here's the time lapse that I created using sound effects, fake tilt shift from Red Giant Software's Magic Bullet Looks, and we have this really nice effect. That's how you create a fake tilt shift time lapse. Thanks very much.